welcome to Blender Cinematic. Now that we have the Quinjet animation completed, let's move to fluid simulation of Quinjet actually rising out of water. I'm using Flip Fluids add-on for this simulation. Let's open the Flip Fluids end panel. Let's select our domain cube and click on create domain under bake simulation dropdown. Let's rename our domain as fluid domain. Let's select our fluid cube and click on fluid under add objects drop down. That tells flip fluids that this cube is supposed to become fluid inside the domain. Now let's select each of the quinjet meshes and add them as flip fluid obstacles. We also have to let flip fluids know that it has to take animated mesh data and not static mesh data. We do that by clicking on export animated mesh under flip fluids obstacle properties. Let's repeat for rest of the Quinjet meshes as well. Let's select our fluid domain. In the flip fluids and panel, under simulation setup drop down, let's match file name of the cache folder to the blend file for a reference. Now let's head to physics properties of the fluid domain. I'm going to change the simulation time to 240 frames. And let's set the resolution to 300, which computes to about 27 million voxels, which would definitely take a few days to bake. Let's visualize the grid resolution relative to the size of the Quinjet. Looks awesome, but let's reduce the resolution to 250, which computes to 16 million voxels. Just to explore further, let's see what 500 resolution looks like. Whoa, it's a whopping 125 million voxels, and I'm not even sure how long this is gonna take. Anyways, let's get back to reality and set it to 250 resolution. Now, the next important part, which is the scene frame rate. If we want a large scale slow motion look, we have to reduce the speed to something like 0.4. Let's enable the flip fluid white water simulation, which enables foam, bubbles and spray. Under Particle Display and Render Settings, let's reduce the particle scale to 0.006, which gives a nice large-scale water look. Let's get to Flip Fluid Materials and let's select the appropriate materials from the Flip Fluids Material Library. Alright, I hope we have everything set correctly. So let's hit bake and it starts exporting animated mesh data. With Flip Fluid Sim, we can stop the simulation anytime. As we are not making any changes to our animated mesh, let's click on skip mesh re-export so that when the bake continues, we don't waste time and resources by re-exporting animated mesh data. So let's save, quit and come back and continue baking. Just one more step. For fairly calm fluid, the fluid cube should be a tiny bit larger than the domain on the XY plane. So let's move the fluid cube without touching anything else and hit bake. Once the bake is done, head to view, viewport render animation. Let's head to render and click view animation. Thank you for watching and please visit my channel Blender Cinematic for more Blender animation trailers and tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.